Joining us right now is Tom Kloza, uh, uh, Opus uh, Global Head of Energy Analysis. Are you, are you surprised at where things stand this morning, given where they might have stood over the weekend? I don't know what was going through your head. No, not surprised at all. Uh, Friday was actually the anniversary of the first peak for gasoline prices last year in the futures market. So there's such a strong seasonal template. And, you know, when watching it on the weekend, it, it looked to me it's it was the equivalent of on D-Day if they dropped leaflets to let uh, everyone know exactly when it was coming. This was very choreographed. It was a show. Uh, but it was telegraphed and nowhere near probably what the market was anticipating on Friday. You know, we were talking to David Sanger, though, and, and I, I agree with you. It, it appears, at least in this moment, uh, that, that, that the risk of, of something greater has diminished. But he, he, he suggested to some degree that, you know, all you need is a little bit of a mistake, somebody, somebody to, to misread what happens next. How do you handicap that? Well, I think that's true. And I think that there is a geopolitical premium that's been put on crude oil prices, probably five, six, or seven dollars a barrel. The thing that the market has working for it uh, is that there is a tendency to peak on prices for crude and prices for gasoline early in the in the second quarter. What's more worrisome to me is what happens in August if uh, the Saudis decide to keep their production cuts and OPEC plus keeps their production cuts. There's a lot of things that happen in August, the highest demand month of the year, that could really send prices uh, ballistically high. So you're not worried about, uh, about an escalation from here in terms of what's going on in Israel with Iran? I'm worried about it, Andrew, but I, I, think, that it's, uh, I think it's a real reach when people start talking about the Strait of Hormuz and 20 percent or 20 plus million barrels a day, you know, perhaps being uh, impacted by a closure there. It makes absolutely no sense. Now, a lot of things in the Middle East don't make any sense. Uh, that's a given. But uh, I think that uh, the worry quotient has ramped up and we fit right into the template of, you know, a typical rise in crude oil from midwinter to midspring of about uh, 30 percent or so. Okay, Tom, thank you for uh, helping us think through this. Appreciate it.